Hello everyone, um, I'm back with another with another interview. Today I'm interviewing Jose Pedrosa Galan. He's a professional footballer who's played across the world and he's currently in Hong Kong. Jose, uh, how are you? Hi, how are you, friend? Um, muy bueno. Um, so my first question for you is, um, you have played in nine countries. Where was your favorite place that you have played? Okay. Um, yeah, well, uh, you can tell me up when we end it. <laughs> um, you're about to play for the first time for the first team in Almeria until an injury sidelined you for ten months. How did that feel, and what was going through your mind when it happened? Also, how was the recovery process? Okay. Well, I think I got the the, the worst injury you, uh, a player can have, which is the ACL ligament yep. of the knee. Yeah, I know. In the worst in the worst moment. Because in that moment I was playing for the first team. I was making the precision with the La Liga team and Maria, with Hugo Sanchez was the coach. And it was a, a great moment for me. So it came in the in the in the worst the worst uh, moment of my career. It was more than ten months out of the pitches in a critical situation because I was already twenty four. Maybe it was my last chance to, to get a spot on the on La Liga to play there. The dream where I, I always I always dream of playing on La Liga, but okay, the, it's it, it also helped me to 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 get more experience or more mature or more strong in my mind yeah. because ten months training by yourself alone, uh, making really hard sessions of team of physiotherapy more than eight ten hours per day, mm -hmm. it made me very strong especially in my mind, so I think it was a bad moment, but also made me, as I tell you, to to learn a lot about the football and uh, about uh, how people maybe uh, support you when you are when you are up or you are good to play, but with your injury, everybody forgets you. Yep. Um, you went through youth development in Spain. How good is the youth development in Spain? Spain, obviously, uh, all, 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 all that I became as a player uh, is, is because I, I grew up in Spain. I played for Atletico Madrid, I played for Almeria with great players that play even in the national team. Um, all this competence we have in between the Spanish players made me grow up so fast. Um, all the tactical learning, all the all the technique what I have right now, I owe, I owe it to the, to the Spanish to the Spanish coaches, to the Spanish culture of football we have in, in, in our country that, in my opinion, is amazing. Yeah. Um, which country surprised you the most in terms of football ability and support? Uh, okay, maybe Indonesia. Indonesia or Thailand, they, they follow up there. Football with really, really good passion. Um, the supporters are really good. I always said that I play. I, I couldn't imagine that I could play out of Spain. Uh, like for example, in Indonesia, with more than eighty thousand people. Uh, that's that's amazing. Also in in Thailand, twenty thousand, thirty thousand people, and everybody treats you so well. Uh, I think South Asia is very, very nice experience to a footballer, to a professional footballer to play because. Uh, they respect a lot the, foot, the football players, especially if you are a foreigner. And they support you and they encourage you the full game. And they make you feel a uh, really, really good player. Yeah. Um, you played for clubs in many countries that aren't known for football, for their football ability. 
Was this key in developing as a player, or was it easy compared to someone from a big footballing nation like yourself? Uh, well, um, I would say that every every country is different. I mean, um, it's not it's, it's, it's the same sport, it's football, but it's totally different if you play in Cyprus, if you play in Jordan, or if you play in Finland. It's other kind of concept of football. Uh, some some places are more physical, other more technical, other more tactical. Some of them you get tired because of the humidity of the hot or the heat, for example in, in South Asia. So you need to adapt. Uh, I think uh, one of the, the the stuff, one of the things I I, I improved more in my time of these nine years is uh, to to make a quick a quick adaptment, a, we, uh, a quick uh, adaptation to to different kind of footballs. Um, I, I could play in these days, like, I move a lot, but honestly, every 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 place uh, every place where I sign or where I play, at the end I, I play a lot of games and I think I, I get adapted quite, quite well. I fit quite quickly to, to that kind of football. Yeah. Um, do you have any advice for any up-and-coming center mids? Advice is uh, you have to believe in yourself. Uh, football nowadays is not easy, especially if you are not like a pro, like a football player of the good leagues like Germany, or the top leagues, Italy, Spain, or, or England. Uh, if you are just a footballer of any any other part of the world, you need to trust in yourself, but uh, never give up. Always try to. To jump through the obstacles, you you will have a lot of obstacles in your career. Coaches that don't trust you, injuries, uh, many things, but you have to overcome them. And, and as if you love, uh, you have feel passion of uh, of being a footballer. Yeah. You need to keep going, keep through it. And, and as I told you, sometimes uh, the moments are difficult, but keep going, keep going. I always stand yourself, and at the end you. You will always succeed. Yeah. Uh, what's your ultimate football goal? My what? Sorry? Your ultimate football goal. Uh, 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 what's the be... one thing that you want to do in your football career? Ah, okay, okay. Uh, sorry. It's all right. Um, okay. Um, for three times, I qualified to to Europe League or Champions League, and I couldn't play. So I have one of my dreams was there was to, to play one Europe competition and, and this summer I could achieve it, playing the Champions League qualification. But now I think one of my dreams is to play in the in all the world, I mean in all the continents. So Australia could be a Oceania could be a good option. And also yeah, America Australia. I never, and I, and last year I got an offer from, from Bolivia. My team in Spain didn't let me go, but I have this on my mind to play also in the States or in, in America, South America. So it's one of my dreams. I have still, I'm 32, but there's still many dreams or still a lot of passion or to, to keep playing football for many years. Yeah. Um, and this is my last question. If you could take back one thing from your career, what would it be? One what? If you could take back one thing from your career, what would it be? Uh, well, this is a, a good one, but I think the moment, the moment, uh, the first, the first coach of Palmeria was Sanchez uh, or Unai Emery, now yep. currently PSG. Yeah, coach, I know. Yep. He, he he called me for 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 the for for I was playing for the reserve team for the second team of Almeria for the Jungle and then he called me and he told me he trusted me for the first team. One could be one of the, my best moments. But uh, also I don't know to make the the debut in Thailand after that year uh, as I told you I was injured in Spain. Um, I lost my train of playing in La Liga. Then I play again in Thailand, and how I play my, my first matches was a really good moment because it made me be a, or make me feel a professional footballer, even if it was in Thailand. But I feel so so good playing again.
Yeah. Okay. Uh, gracias, uh, Jose. It was a pleasure. Thanks so much. Uh, everyone, thanks for watching this video. Uh, drop a like and don't forget to. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, uh, I I really appreciate uh, your your YouTube channel, and which is very good. Yeah. Uh, thank you for the interview. Yeah, and don't forget to subscribe too. And to to your to your YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to Maverick. Um, yeah, Maverick Productions. Yeah. Yeah, Maxim Productions. Yeah. Okay. Um, gracias, muchas gracias, Jose. Um, buenas noches and gracias.